Greetings again, everyone. Sir Morgan here from the technical department. Today, I will be showing you how to construct a 90, 60, 45, and a 30 degree angle. I will now go ahead and border my paper. I will now construct a 60 degree angle. Now, the first line we are going to draw with our T square, the length will be 60 millimeters. So AB is 60 millimeters. Now in order to draw the 60 degree angle, we need to open our compass to a small convenient radius. Put the compass point at A, then we will scribe an arc from the AB line. Now when we scribe the arc from the AB line, we should not move the compass. We now will put the arc, the compass where the arc touched the AB line or intersected the AB line. And we will scribe another arc to intersect the first arc we drew. Now what we will do is that we will now take our set square and draw a line from A, which is A, and draw it perfectly through the intersection of these arcs. Now, you may be given a measurement for AC. So let's use AC to be five centimeters. Now you will need to outline from A to C to be exactly five centimeters. Now we have our point C. Now in order to construct a 30 degree angle, the same procedure must be followed, but we will now need to bisect this 60 degree angle. So this is our 60 degree angle. In order for us to get the, the, the 30 degree angle, we need to bisect this 60 degree angle to bisect an angle mean we will get another angle right right here where one will be 30 and the other will be 30 equally so the same procedure will be repeated now we will now need to bisect our 60 degree. In order to bisect the 60 degree, we will have to put one, we will have to use these two points, right? So this point right here, and also this point where the arc is touching both lines, we will open our compass, place our compass here, then scribe and arc. 
We will then place the compass here and also scribe another arc to intersect that first arc that we drew. Now, we now need to note where the two arcs intersected each other. Then we will draw a line from the intersection of the arcs to this point, which is point A. Now we have two angles, this angle and this angle, 30 degree and another 30 degree. Now this is how we bisect a 60 degree angle to get two 30 degree angles. Now angle CAD is equal to angle BAD. So angle CAD is equal to angle DAB. I will now be showing you how to construct a 90 degree angle. Now this first method was a method that we used in the previous lesson. So I will not be going too slow. So first our line AB will be 50. Now, if we want to construct a 90 degree angle right here, which is a perpendicular to this line AB, we will need to first extend this line from A. Now we will open our compass to a small convenient radius, place the compass point at A. Then we will scribe an arc, which is really a semicircle in this case, to touch the line. Now we will now need to open our compass just a little more and where the arc, where the, the semicircle touched the line, we will use both points to scribe arcs at the top. Now where the arcs intersected each other, we will now draw a line from the intersection of the, of the two arcs to point A. Now, if you were told that A to C is 40, then you would use your, your, your pencil to outline 40. Now, that is one method, method that we can use to get our 90 degree angle. I'll be showing you a second method we can use to get a 90 degree. We will now go ahead and draw our AB line. AB will be 50. So that is our AB. Now we will put our compass at point A, open to a convenient radius, and we will scribe an arc.
the arc will be started on the AB line. Now, where the arc touched this AB line, we will put our compass right at that point, then scribe another arc to intersect the first arc. Now what we will do next is to put our compass at this point and remember we do not move the radius of the compass and we will scribe another arc to cut the first first arc we drew. Now what we will do next is to open our compass just a little more and we will be using these two points to get two arcs at the top here to intersect each other. So let's call this point C and this point D. We will be using points D and C Open the compass just a little more. Then we will scribe an arc from D. We will do the same from C. And please note C is the point where this arc intersected this arc. Now, the final step is to draw a line from the intersection of these arcs to point A. Okay, now what, we, what you will do next is that you will outline from A to E. Now if you are given E to be 60, you would just outline 60 millimeters on this line. Okay, so angle E, A, B is a 90 degree angle. This was method two. Now, in order for us to get a 45 degree, we will bisect our 90 degree angle. In order to bisect the 90 degree angle, you will need your compass again. Bisecting mean we will half this 90 degree angle equally. So I will now go ahead and I will draw a 90 degree angle. Now in order to bisect this angle, we will be using these two points, this point and this point. So what you will do is to open your compass to a convenient radius. Then we will scribe an arc. We will now use this point and also scribe an arc to intersect this first arc. Now what we will now do is to draw a line from the intersection of these two arcs to point A.
Now, if you were given the length of A, D to be 8 centimeters, you would outline 8 centimeters on this line. So here we have angle D, A, B measuring 45 degrees. That is how we construct a 45 degree. So in order to construct the 45 degree, we have to bisect a 90 degree angle. 45 plus 45 equal to 90 degree. So angle CAD is 45 degree and angle DAB is also 45 degree. Now we have the 90 degree angle and we have the 60 degree angle. In order to get a 30 degree angle, we have to bisect the 60 degree angle. For the 90 degree angle, in order to get a 45 degree angle, we have to bisect a 90 degree angle. Now, if we wanted a 15 degree angle, what we, will, what we would do is to bisect any one of these 30 degree angle. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.